we don't have to choose money over ourselves. We get to really be in our experience and honor ourselves. And that actually is what creates the most overflowing money that I have ever experienced. It took me a year to feel ready to share with you how oh, I went from feeling like I couldn't do a launch because I was in the hardest breakup like moments of my life to having a $375,000 launch. And I just really want you to know what, what I want you to take away from this and what you learn after this live stream is that we don't have to, we don't have to choose money over ourselves. We get to really be in our experience and honor ourselves. And that actually is what creates the most overflowing money that I have ever experienced. So I want to ask here, who here is in love? If you know how love just really feels like the most delicious drug that we ever could ever have, right? I was so in love and it was a year ago exactly. I met this guy and he was, he's Jewish. I'm not Jewish. And we became like, I was as in love as you could get. Um, and you guys, it takes a lot for me to surrender to somebody. It takes a lot for me to trust. It takes a lot for me to just really give in. And as a powerful, strong woman, when I find myself in these moments of, of just surrendering and vulnerability in the presence of a man, it literally feels like once in a lifetime. And you know, I thought that I was going to have kids with this person. Like I literally fell so in love that I thought that I was going to have kids with them. We were having the best sex of our lives. I mean, like everything was just more, I thought this was my person. I really did. So he took me on this trip, by the way, no one had ever treated me to anything, any experiences like this in my life. And he, he took me on this trip. We went to a bunch of different countries. We went and just had the most magical time. And I was just falling deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper in love. And it got to a point where we went in Miami. And after two weeks of just having the most amazing time, he came into the hotel room and he said, Juliana, these have been the best two and a half weeks of my life. I don't see a romantic future with you. Goodbye. Literally, those were his words. That's all. And he walked out, he walked away. He walked away because oh, I still remember the moment. And even though I'm like, I'm complete with it, like I'm good. It's, it was so traumatized. It was so heartbreaking because I really thought that was it. I thought that was my man. And, you know, after that, I was in Miami by myself in a hotel room. Like I was, I was alone and, and he walked out and like, I just thought, I literally thought I was going to die. Like I thought I couldn't live with the pain. He was so deep. I couldn't pee. I couldn't take myself to the bathroom, like I literally go, going to the bathroom was my success for the day. I didn't think that I could do anything. And it was all because I'm not Jewish. And so I felt like all the stories of, not me, of me not being good enough, like literally came to the surface. Like I was born wrong, right? Like you felt like I was literally born. Just, I had no chance to change. Like I couldn't Literally, his family would never accept me. His family would never say, even if I convert, you guys, I wanted to convert to be an Orthodox Jew. Can you guys imagine me as an Orthodox Jew? I don't know if you guys know, but like, it's very far from who I am and what I stand for and what I believe in, right? I'm all about self-expression. I'm all about owning your desires. I'm all about like, just feel like it's just so far. And I was willing to change all of me for him, for to be in this relationship. And there was nothing that I could do for him or for his family to accept me. So I felt like I was just not good enough. So not only that happens, but 
the same day, two clients messaged me. And at the time I had just launched my Momentum Mastermind and it was my first round in Momentum Mastermind. Two or three clients messaged me and they backed out on their contracts because they actually hadn't signed the contract. I didn't have contracts in place at the time. I just said that they pay whatever. And then they backed out same day, same day. And I couldn't say anything because I hadn't signed, they hadn't signed a contract. So I learned. And the same day, my former coach literally had, we had a, a breakup moment where she, she literally broke up with me. <laughs> On the same fucking day, January 7, 2021. Who here knows the times when it rains and it pours? You know those times when everything, it's not just one thing that happens, but then you have 500 things happening the same day, the same fucking day, the same week, the same month, right? You know when there's a death in the family, then you get sick, then your clients don't pay, and then something else happens, and then COVID hits, and then this, oh, there's something, and it just happens, and it happens, and it happens, and that's what happened for me. I literally, in one day, it's like everything that I had built security around was taken away, right? I no longer had a little mommy that would mommy me into my coaching business, like that was gone, I no longer had a little man that would just like, you know, make me, make me feel safe. Nope. And I no longer had the income that I thought that I would have from the clients. And I was no longer having the opportunity to coach them. Like all of the things that I found security in were taken away in just one day. And so I just want all of you to get present that nothing is permanent. Anything can happen at any point. And the only thing that we have control over is what we choose to do in that moment and how we choose to think about our circumstances in that moment and about ourselves. And you guys, not only that happened, but I was just one week away from my first launch of the year, exactly a year ago of launch to launch the Magnetize and Monetize Mastermind. So I was barely trying, barely getting myself to the bathroom in the deepest heartbreak of my life in a different state. I didn't even know how I was going to get myself back to San Diego because it felt like getting a flight was just like, it was just like going to a different planet. And I was meant to do a five-day launch. Right? So like, the, 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 for me, the pressure that I felt as a high achieving woman, that's like, I can do this. I'm not going to let anything mean anything about me. This is going to be helpful for you because I was there a year ago. I was there a year ago and I was about to, I just had my first seven figure year, right. In 2020, uh, sorry. It, it, yeah. In 2020, I had my, uh, my first six, seven figure year and I was ready to go for 2 million. And so when my thought was, fuck, this is slowing me down. This heartbreak is slowing me down. I can't hand, like, this is not the time for this shit. I'm about to, I'm about to have the biggest year of my life. I'm about to go and make $2.5 million. Like I thought that for me, I needed to have this strong start. And so, but I was sitting there with my heartbreak broken in the deepest pain. And maybe for you, it might be a death in the family. It might be some sickness. It might be whatever. I want you guys to put yourselves in that situation where something feels so heavy in your heart that you just don't know if you can do any business stuff. So I was there. Do I do this launch or not? Because I know you guys that it was more than the money, but for me, my job on this planet is to serve. My job on this planet is to guide. And I was there in between my calling and my broken heart. And I had to decide. I had to decide what to do. So I got coached. Thank God I had a coach back then. And my coach said, don't do the launch. When I came to her and I was like, please just help me not feel this. Help me push through my feelings. Help me just not feel this anymore. And she said, don't do the launch. Don't do the launch. Take care of yourself. And I was like, what? What do you mean? I thought that you were going to coach me through my pain just so that I could get shit done. And she said, don't do it. And she said, just totally just call it up. And in that moment, I didn't feel like I could do that. But I want you guys to see every time that you might choose yourself, choose money over yourself, because I was ready to choose money over me. I was ready to push through that five day challenge and show up like nothing happened when in reality, I needed to grieve and I needed to hold myself. 
And I decided to, instead of just calling off the launch, I did decide to not do the five day challenge. I said, okay, I'm going to take care of myself. And I'm going to choose to believe that what if by taking care of myself, the money will follow. I wanted to enter that paradigm. And I know the universe sent me that uh, experience and that circumstance for me to redefine what it looks like to create success because I did not want it to be at the sacrifice of myself. And I asked God the year before I asked the universe, I asked all my earth angels, I'm like, and angels guide me to create success, not at the sacrifice of me. And so that there I had the perfect playground to choose. So <clears throat> what did I do? I decided to hold a belief that I can take care of myself and I can still hit my goal. At the time I had 16 people sign up for Magnetize and Monetize and I thought that was not good enough. I thought that that was not good enough sales, that if I close a car, that was not good enough. And that's when I started doing step one, which is love what you do or who, what you have as it is right now. So I decided to fall in love with those 16 people that had already said yes, instead of saying that's not good enough. It's not 30. My goal at the time was 30 people. And I just kept focusing on the people that I didn't have. And so I want to ask you, where in your life are you focusing on what you don't have? Where in your life are you focusing on the things that you are missing? How many times are you looking at the number in your account saying that's not good enough, even though you signed two, three clients or one client, or even if you sign no clients, you're saying that's not good enough. My success is dependent on me making money. I had to look at all of those layers that came, came up for me because what I realized is that I still have, even though I had made seven figures, I still had thoughts about me that I'm not good enough unless I make money. I have to prove to myself that I can make money. I have to prove to my clients that I can make money. I have to prove to my mom and their dog. And I thought I had to prove to everyone. Like, and I didn't think I had this anymore, but that moment had me see all the times and all the ways where I still thought that I needed to make money in order to prove that I was successful, in order to prove that I'm worthy, you know, in order to prove that I'm lovable. And so I want all of you here, coaches, entrepreneurs, to look, where are you doing that right now? Where are you looking at your results and saying, not good enough, I'm not successful enough? What is your definition of success? I had to redefine it. You guys, I found the journal from a year ago and I literally just spent the morning reading all my journal entries. This shit, it's like the most power, it's like a Bible. I'm like, wow, the, the level of coaching that I gave myself was so powerful because I started looking at all those areas where I didn't think that I was good enough and where I thought I had to prove that I had to get more clients to be successful and to be worthy. So where in your life are you doing that? How does that feel? Proving to people your success is always going to be a dead end rope. You're always going to end up feeling like you are never good enough because you are always going to want more. You're, there's always going to be new goals. There's always going to be new opportunities, new milestones, and you get to have the money, but you don't have to measure your self-worth based on whether you hit it or not. So that's the first thing that I cleaned up all the areas where I felt like I wasn't good enough for him as a woman because I wasn't Jewish and all the areas where I was doing that in my business. Now, the second thing is I chose me over money. So I did this exercise that I found here in my, little, in my journal. I don't know if you guys can see it. And he says, I choose me over. And I just came up with this. This is just me. This is just me literally coaching myself is one of the things that I came up with. And I said, I choose me over the opinions of my competitors, of my family and my friends. I choose me over the engagement on my posts. I choose me over the no's on the phone. I choose me over confusion. I choose me over self-punishment. I choose me over people who don't choose me. I choose me over people who aren't ready to see the value in what I can offer. I choose me over people who are further ahead or have more money. I had to make a decision to choose me because the little girl inside of me was so tired of chasing and chasing and chasing and choosing other things, choosing other people, choosing other things, choosing more goals, choosing more money. I had to say no more, no more. And I chose her instead and I chose me. And you guys, all I did is I sent, just send the emails. 
I didn't do anything else and I hit my goal. And I hit the goal because I released the desire, the attachment to choose money over me. I truly did. And I know I did that not just for me, but I did it for all my clients. And that year, so many of my clients came to me and they were struggling with heartbreak. It's like I did the healing for them so that I could guide them. And in that moment, I really just took my power back. I took my power back from all of the times when I was giving it to somebody who didn't choose me because I didn't choose the right religion or because I wasn't born Jewish or any thoughts that I was giving away to the people that were making more money than me. I want you to know it doesn't matter how much people, how much money people make. All that matters in my philosophy, what I coach on inside Magnetize and Monetize is you get to have what you want. You get to have the money and it doesn't have to be at the cost, at the cost of you. It doesn't. So by me choosing me and pausing and grieving and letting myself heal, this is how I, how I open up myself to receive because I can ask you or I can't ask people to choose me if I'm not choosing myself. Where are you asking people to buy from you when you're not even fully bought into you? That's what that brought up for me. All the areas where I wasn't choosing me and I was forced because I'm a very fucking strong, powerful person that I can blast to a lot of things and the universe sent me all these, these things at once so that I actually had to stop and look. And I don't want you to get to that place. I don't want you to get such a hard lesson. I'm available for easy lessons ever since. <laughs> I want all of you to get easy lessons, but we have to start looking before this shit happens. We have to catch ourselves when we're not choosing ourselves. And so that's why I really, really want to highlight that if this is the type of support that you're craving, because the third thing that I did was I made sure I had support. I did not do this alone. I had coaches in my corner that saw me, that saw me more than just a testimonial, that saw me more than just how much money I was making, that saw me for more, for the long-term vision of who I was, not just for my achievements. Do you have somebody in your corner that can guide you in that way? Do you have somebody in your corner who literally has your back in more ways than one and who sees you as a multidimensional human, not just as a robot that is meant to make money? You got to take care of that first. And if you are in a position where you want that support, where you're craving that level of coaching, where it's not just business coaching to make money, but you actually want to be supported, I shamelessly want to invite you to join Magnetize and Monetize. Because in that mastermind, that's the coaching that you will receive. Coaching that's aligned with what you want, with attracting premium clients and making a fuck ton of money, but not at the sacrifice of you where we can unroot, uproot all of these areas where you still think you're not good enough and we can clean them up instead of overlooking. We get so precise. We get so direct. You will not hide. You will be so held. And that's what you're craving. I know it. You are craving that type of support. And I wanted to share this story because there's no way I would have been able to move through that if I didn't have that support. I did not have anyone else in my, if I didn't have somebody to tell me, don't do this launch and stop me in my tracks instead of me pushing through it and just continuing to, to believe that I just have to work hard to make money. I have to work hard to make money. I would have just myself made these choices that would have completely set me back. So I had to slow down to speed up. And I had my first two and a half million dollar year by doing that. So we close applications next week. I know you're on the fence, some of you, and I want this to be the moment where you decide you choose you over your fear. You choose you over money fears. You choose you over, I don't think that I can do it. Choose you, choose what you want. Get to 51% of, yes, I choose me, even if you have 40 freaking 9% or 50% or 48% of, I don't think I can do it. Because... I believe in you. I believe you can do it. So I want to invite you to go to my profile, click the link if you want to join. But even if you don't, I want to tell you that 
you get to have the type of business where you choose you over anything else. I am an example of that. You get to be in the million dollar rank or in the multi six figure dollar rank, and you don't even need to feel validated by that. There's a lot of people who have a lot of money, but they're not in the presence of abundance. You can have a lot of money, but not be in the presence of abundance. And I want to be an example for you to see what it looks like that you get to actually honor yourself and that that is actually the most important thing that you can do. So <clears throat> I wanted to give you that lesson. I love you all so much. I see your hearts. I see you on stories. I see you going for it. I see you doing all the things that you're doing. And I just want you to know you are on the right track. I love you all. I'll see you next time.